Okay, take a nice deep breath in for me. And when you breathe out, just close your eyes. Because when you close your eyes, it's easier to make pictures and movies in your imagination. And sometimes, when you feel relaxed, you use your imagination to think about things that haven't happened yet. Things in your future that you want. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine that you're flying over the ocean to Argentina. And maybe you're flying on a plane. Or maybe you feel like you're a superhero like Superman and you can just fly over the ocean. Because this is just your imagination. And I want you to imagine that you're not just flying over an ocean to Argentina. I want you to imagine that you're also flying backwards in time. And I want you to imagine that you're flying all the way back in time to a time when there was a young boy called Messi playing football in a training ground somewhere in Argentina. And I want you to imagine that you can see him playing and you can tell that he's really talented and he's the same age that you are. And when you can imagine seeing him playing and maybe doing some tricks or practicing a free kick or dribbling, just let me know by nodding your head. And I want you to see him and I want you to imagine that as you're looking at him, there's some boys around him that are calling him names, trying to bully him. And I want you to watch what happens. And I want you to see that this young boy, this footballer, he doesn't let it bother him. I want you to see that they try and upset him. They try and tell him he's not a good footballer. They tell him that he's comes from a poor family. But I want you to see that this young Messi that's the same age as you doesn't seem that bothered by it. He seems like it's not going to affect his mood. And I want you to get a sense that all it does is make him want to train even harder. And if you can see him being bullied by boys around him and it just makes him train harder, just let me know by nodding your head. That's it. And I want you to imagine that you're stepping into his body. So you're no longer watching him. I want you to imagine that you are now a young Messi on a training field somewhere in Argentina. And I want you to feel that you have his talent inside you. I want you to feel that you're just as good as football as he was when he was your age. And I want you to feel how good it feels to be running with the ball. And you can run with the ball just as fast as if you didn't have the ball. I want you to feel how talented you feel. But more important than the talent, I want you to notice where this feeling is to train really hard. I want you to have this idea that you're willing to train harder than anyone else. That if there's something you don't understand, you're going to keep practicing it and keep practicing it until you get really good at it. And I want you to imagine that they're on that training ground. They're teaching all of the boys, including Messi, how to do an L turn. And I want you to imagine that you're then doing that in the body of young Messi that's your age and you're doing that L turn and it feels really good to 
do it so well and if it feels like you've learned how to do this move just let me know by nodding your head that's it and I want you to feel all of these qualities in you and then I want you to imagine that it's now the future and there is a tough decision to be made and that tough decision is that a football club all the way on the other side of the world wants them to join their academy and I want you to imagine somewhere in your body is a feeling of courage that it feels that you've got the ability to make a big tough decision for two reasons one that you believe in yourself and secondly you want to help your family and if you can feel that feeling of courage somewhere inside you just let me know by nodding your head you can feel that courage inside you that's it and then I want you to imagine that you're now playing in an academy all the way in Barcelona with other people your age and I want you to imagine there is a really strict coach and the strict coach I want you to imagine is telling you off and saying that you're not working hard enough in front of all of the other boys in the academy but instead of wanting to give up I want you to feel a feeling of persistence inside you and if you can feel that persistence a desire to never give up to get the best that you can ever be just let me know by nodding your head that's it and now I want you to imagine that you've still got all of those qualities that Messi has but now I want you to imagine that you're in your body and I want you to imagine that you can imagine what it feels like to be training just like Messi used to train like you're training even harder than you normally train concentrating even more feeling even more talented than you already are and I want you to imagine someone that you know tries to make you feel bad maybe with words or maybe with a tackle but instead of making you feel sad or frustrated I want you to imagine that it makes you feel really resilient and it makes you want to train even harder and get even better and if you can feel that feeling like you're in your body surrounded by the people that you know training where you normally train and it makes you feel that you want to be more resilient and train even harder just let me know by nodding your head And I want you to imagine that you're training really hard. And I want you to imagine that there are two things that you really want to do. And there's a tough decision to be made. And I want you to find that courage inside yourself to be willing to make a tough decision. And that tough decision might be to do less of one thing and more of something else. And if you can find that feeling of courage inside you, just let me know by nodding your head. That's it. And there's one final thing I want you to do while you're feeling this energy and qualities of messy inside you. Is I want you to imagine that a strict coach, trainer or teacher tries to tell you off or embarrass you in front of people that you know tries to make you feel bad or sad only this time I want you to feel that it makes you even more persistent even more focused and determined to get really really good and if you can imagine that for me just let me know by nodding your head and then I want you to imagine that you're now watching yourself with all of these qualities on a big screen and I want you to see yourself either training 
or playing a football match. But with all these qualities of a really good work ethic where you train really hard, I want you to see yourself with all that resilience. And this is you in the future, maybe training or in a game. Maybe people are watching. I want you to see you with all that resilience, all that courage and all that persistence. And if you can see yourself in the future with all of these qualities, just let me know by nodding your head. That's it. And I want you to notice that when you think about yourself in the future with persistence and courage and resilience and tenacity, that gives you strength. And then when you're going through tough times, just thinking about yourself in the future makes it easier to let go of any frustrations and sadness and instead get really excited and determined for the future. And if it feels like some of the qualities that were in Messi when Messi was your age and now in you, just let me know by nodding your head. That's it. And now what I want you to do is really feel like you're in your body listening to me right now. So take a really deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. And I'm just going to count from one to ten. And then you're going to open your eyes feeling really alert, but really feeling like those qualities of work ethic, resilience, courage and persistence are still there in you. Starting to count. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight. Open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake. Wide awake. Wide awake. Wide awake.